it's time to head down to the start. It is now 7.13, so it starts at 7.30. Heading down that way, it's cool. Decided to go with the single layer top. No, no double layer, no, no, nothing like that. So I've got the mittens. Hopefully warm up once we get running. Should be a beautiful day. Really nice neighborhood through here. Real pretty houses. For everybody out there tracking, just past the 10K split, 4450. Moving pretty good, right on pace. Thank you all. All right, about to hit the famous hill, Knowlton Hill. Start of it. Hour and two minutes in, almost nine miles. Made to the section where we're on this greenway now for the next several miles. Almost 14 miles. Half marathon was 135 exactly. Close to 25 miles. Bottom fell out <laughs> back there, uh, about four miles. I'm fighting cramps. I'm close to the end though, I'm trying to struggle it in. I'm much slower right now. I think I crossed in 316. 
missed the uh, eagle a little bit, but holy cow. Oh, it's cramping so bad right there. <laughs> oh, How you doing? Fighting cramps really bad. My right hamstring is to cramp for the whole last like four miles. And they're literally in the finish, like the uh -huh. shoot, I thought I was going to seize up. It was so bad. Uh, I thought you might be like having a little bit more kick there in the last section, but I looked like you weren't doing so good. Those last four miles were, sh I mean, like probably all in the eights. Yeah. Like 830, it was tough. I was just, I, ever since mile 21, I've been like fighting cramps. Oh, uh, uh, Lee and I were talking about you the whole time. He's like, I, I was giving him the numbers and he was like, they, they, he was in so-and-so place at 19. He was in so-and-so place. I was killed through the half. Yeah. I was on a 135 half, which was like right on pace for a 310. Yeah, that's what we that last half just sucked. Yeah. It was bad. As soon as you get off of um, James White and start going over that bridge over the over the <coughs> river, it was all <laughs> um, uphill, the bridge. Yeah. And then, man, it was just a struggle. I stopped and walked a little bit while I'm drinking some Gatorade from the aid stations. <coughs> it was rough. But I think it was a 316 it was something. 316.2. I got a 316.13. Like, well, based I, off of chip time. You might have. I don't yeah, know. You kind of probably Performance was great, supposedly. <laughs> Best mile of 656. Average of 725. That was crap. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see here. 1,368 feet of elevation gain. Oh, my gosh. Whew. All right, heading back to the hotel now. Got to take a shower, get cleaned up, and wear some nice clothes and drive another hour and a half and go to a wedding. It's going to be a little rough in the car. <laughs> luckily, I say luckily, but not luckily. She's on a crutch, so we don't have to dance at the wedding. <laughs> oh, that was tough. The last, last several miles were very, very rough. Fighting off cramps. I need to get some electrolytes and hydrate. Oh. There's the bib. Let's put it up on the wall. All right, so officially I finished, well, I think it's official. Technically the day you're watching this Friday, it'll be official. Uh, I finished officially, I believe 15th overall with a 316.09 and first in the male 35 to 39 age group. So super happy with that, how it went. Got the bib up there. This is the race shirt, which is pretty darn awesome. It's very comfortable. There's the back right there super comfortable i got the bag here that this is what all the uh, stuff came in and they give you at the start which is really nice so i'll kind of show you what i got from the race when you finish i did get a pair of socks these are uh, says knoxville track club covenant health knoxville marathon on it there kind of uh some nice looking socks let's see if it'll focus on it all right so i got socks haven't tried them on yet to see if they're any comfortable or not but then you also get uh, a set of coasters so i've got a set of four coasters here let me open them up they're kind of nice little uh like rubber silicone type coasters but yeah that's one right there so you can take a look at that right there yep knoxville marathon 2022 so you got four of those now i can hang out with my friends and drink water hydrate or beer and then of course we have the metal uh, really nice ribbon, says the 18th Annual Covenant Health Marathon, uh, Knoxville Marathon 26.2. Uh, it's even got the Sun Sphere on it, which is really awesome right there. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then there is the metal. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus on that real quick so you can see that. So anyway, that's the swag. I'll hang that up on the board back there as well. And then I did go into Knoxville to pick up the award. Had to get that because I wasn't able to stick around on Sunday after the race because I had to leave for the wedding. Uh, but this is the award here. Uh, it's just, you know, a little plaque says men's first place, male, 30, 35 to 39. Uh, but yeah, so that'll go somewhere here. I don't know where yet. I'll, uh, I'll find somewhere to put it. We'll just kind of stick it up there for right now. Uh, but yeah, so marathon was an overall success. Um, I did not meet my A goal of sub 315. However, the course was long. It was 26.445 or whatever. Uh, so a little bit longer. So according to my watch, I did get a 314 uh, in change for an actual 26.2, but you know, that was whatever, it doesn't matter. So anyway, it was a good race. I had fun. 
uh, even with the cramping, it was a good experience. Uh, I probably will do another marathon at some point, maybe a little flatter one, uh, you know, not so much elevation and see if I can maybe break 310. Uh, I think I probably could. So yeah, anyway, enjoy Knoxville Marathon. If you are looking to do a uh, marathon in Tennessee, Southeast area, it is a good event put on by the Knoxville Track Club, which is just, they know how to put on races really well. The police support was amazing. The neighborhoods that you ran through were really cool. They kind of had a competition to see which neighborhood could be the best. So they had a lot of, uh, you know, people in their driveways cheering you on with signs, handing out, you know, oranges, beer, uh, all sorts of stuff. It was really cool. So good to see that uh, environment for sure. All right, well, that's going to do it for the Knoxville Marathon, my first road marathon. I think as an ultra runner, I did pretty well. I'm, I'm proud of myself. But if you want to take a look at the packet pickup video expo right over here, take a look at that over there. Then over here, we'll throw it to, uh, I don't know, we'll throw it to another race video, another race playlist to go check out, some trail races maybe. But thank you for watching. I do appreciate you all, and I'll see you on the next one.